Enzymes enable molecules called substrates to undergo a chemical change to form new substances called products. Each enzyme acts on a specific molecule or set of molecules called substrates. Each substrate fits into an area of the enzyme called the active site. This fitting together is often compared to a lock and key mechanism. However, the enzyme changes shape a little to fit with the substrate. In the enzyme substrate complex, the enzyme holds the substrate or substrates in a position where a reaction can occur easily. After reaction, the enzyme releases the products and can go on to carry out the same reaction again and again. During the normal enzyme catalytic cycle, the substrate encounters an enzyme with a specific active site to which it binds, forming an enzyme substrate complex. The enzyme then facilitates the breakdown of the substrate to its products, which part from the enzyme, leaving the active site free to catalyze another substrate as the cycle begins again. Competitive inhibition occurs when an enzyme encounters a blocker, which mimics the properties of the substrate and binds to the enzyme's active site. Thus, when the substrate is encountered, the active site is not available for attachment and no reaction will occur. Non-competitive enzyme inhibition involves the binding of a blocker to the enzyme away from the active site. This binding causes a conformational change in the enzyme, altering the shape of the active site, which prevents the substrate from binding. No reaction will occur as long as a non-competitive blocker is bound to the enzyme.